What's happening, dudes? I'm Kevin Duty, and today we are going to be looking at and reviewing the Benchmade Bug Out. This knife is very, very popular. This is a, a bit of a modified version, um, but the nuts and bolts are the same, if you will. And uh, so we're going to be going over the specs, some pros and cons of this knife, and everything else in between. So first, a little bit of backstory. Um, I was a, a Gerber guy for a long time. Not just Gerber, but you know, uh, the most I'd ever spend on a knife was probably 40 bucks. Um, and uh, that wasn't because I, I couldn't afford anything better necessarily, but I wasn't I wasn't aware of the extent of the knife world. I was not aware that there were better steels than, you know, whatever crappy steel that were on my knives. Um, I, I wasn't aware that you could buy a knife that not only felt amazing but but performed extremely, uh, extremely well. Um, you know that edges could last weeks without having to sharpen. I, I just I, I didn't know. Um, and then one day I I stumbled across a video of a guy talking about his Benchmade bug out, and um, at, at first I couldn't believe the the price of it. You know it seemed outrageous to me at the time, um, and it still is. You know it's still expensive. Uh, so I was surprised at the price, but I was also surprised at um, how good it looked. Um, it was just a very good looking knife and then the guy was talking about you know the blade steel and and um, how great it was and um, I just I fell in love with with the knife and especially the locking mechanism you know I I had only been exposed to liner locks uh, before that I, I I thought that was the only way you could lock a knife that or a, or a lock back like a, a classic buck knife or something um, I, I couldn't believe that you could just do it so easily one-handed, um, deploy it and close it so easily with with one hand, and it looked just it looked fun to do. It looked uh, it looked fidgety. It looked um, it just looked cool to me. Uh, so I I uh, I bought myself a Benchmade bug out. I bought myself one, um, and that was really my gateway into the world of knives, and and that's what got me hooked. And now I have uh, quite a few more knives, but, but this knife will always have a, a special place in my heart because it was my first good knife, and um, I, I just love it to this day. I love it so much. So that's a little backstory. Um, now let's get into the specs. Specifications. The overall length. The Benchmade bug out is 7.46 inches. We have a blade length of 3.24. The actual cutting edge is exactly 3 inches. <coughs> um, and while we're talking about measurements quickly, um, I, I really like the handle to blade ratio on this knife. Um, you know, some knives, uh, the uh, Paramilitary 2, for example, let me get it out real quick. Some knives have very large handles um, in relation to their blades, and um, that's not that's not uh, a bad thing necessarily at all. But aesthetically, um, this handle to blade ratio is, is much more pleasing to the eye, um, at least to me. It's you can see on the PM2, you know, it's got this huge huge handle, <coughs> and um, in relation to the handle, the blade looks looks a lot smaller on it, and that comes with its own set of benefits. You know, you have a, a lot of room to grip the knife, um, you know, more control over the blade when you're using it. Um, but you know, it's it's purely an aesthetic thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but aesthetics is a, a big reason why I really love this knife. It's a it's just a very handsome looking knife. The blade steel we're looking at is. CPM S30V, um, which I've been very happy with. Uh, it's not uh, the uh, the edge retention is not quite as good as 
say like at the uh, um, S45VN on the PM2, um, which is probably some of the best steel that I own, uh, but it, it's comparable. It's still quite good. Um, I don't have to sharpen this knife very often at all, and um, at the most I'll I'll strap it. You know, uh, every probably once a week I'll give it a good strapping just to maintain the edge. Um, the uh, the blade style is a drop point. At least that that's what it says on the site. But to me, it looks like a spear point because what defines a spear point is the the tip is in line with the center of the handle and that really looks like a spear point to me but I, I could be wrong um, I'm not an expert on on blade shapes um, uh, let's see the weight okay well if we're going to talk about weight we need to talk about these scales first um, these scales are uh, made by a company called Flytanium and they are full titanium scales the uh, Flytanium has, is basically a company that makes knife mods. They make um, handle scales, hardware, backspacers, um, you know, for all, all kinds of different knife models. And they're probably the, the most reputable um, company f the, doing that, at least that I know of. Um, so having these titanium scales makes the knife uh, heavier than it, it is in, in its original form. Um, when you buy this knife from Benchmade, it comes with um, FRN scales, which is a, a fancy word for plastic, really. Now, um, I carried the knife uh, with those scales on for a while, um, but I, I never really liked the, the, the feeling of the scales. They felt cheap and kind of, um, I mean, just they, they felt plasticky, which they were. They're, you know, they're plastic. Um, you would get a little bit of flex um, in the handle if you if you put some pressure on it like this, you know, squeezing down. Um, so I decided to to pay up and get some titanium scales in the knife, and that's what really uh, turned my love for this knife uh, up, uh, you know, ninety percent. Um, I you know it's, it was such a huge difference when I got these on. It gives it a little more weight, um, you know, but that's not a bad thing in my book. Uh, you know, it, it makes it feel um, more quality, just uh, sturdier. It feels more premium. Um, so uh, when you buy the knife from the, you know, with the original plastic scales, the weight is 1.85 ounces, which is very, very light. Um, this knife is often recommended for backpackers, um, you know, that really need to watch the weight of their items in their packs um, or anyone else that, that really needs or wants a very light knife, a, a, you know, a light but, but full-size knife. Um, but for me, I wanted these the, the look and the feel of these titanium scales, so that, that's the route that I went. Um, I've also added in uh, these blue titanium uh, sp um, screws, hardware. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten of these uh, T6 um, screws. And I also added a, a copper backspacer, also from Flytanium. So that added a little bit more weight, um, but to me it feels perfect, just exactly like it is. And um, this is, to me, um, almost a, a perfect knife. <clears throat> so let's talk pros and cons here. Uh, I would say the the main pro, uh, at least personally, um, for me on this knife would be the blade shape. I really, really love the blade shape. Um, it's thin. It is... Um, it's just a really uter uh, utilitarian shape. Um, you know, the, the tip is not high up so that you can't, um, you know, so that you have to bring your wrist really high if you're going to do some draw cuts, you know, like this. Um, the, the tip is lower so you're able to, to get those cuts easily. Um, it is very slicey, uh, very sharp. It's thin behind the edge so you get, you know, very great slicing action. 
I love the finish on it. It's um, I believe that is some kind of tumbling, tumbling finish. Um, and then on the flat here, you can see um, just uh, it, it's not tumbled. Um, it's just a regular you know belt sander finish. Um, so I love the look of it. Uh, I love that you have this. Um, would you call it a swedge? No, it's not a swedge. What is that? Whatever this cutout is called, um, so that you know sharpening is much easier. Um, I love that about it, and I love the look of that. Um, we have titanium uh, blue anodized titanium thumb studs, which are uh, interchangeable. You can get different colors. Um, mine just came with the blue, so I wanted to match that blue with these, which I did. I think it looks really good. Um, another really, really big pro for this knife is the axis lock. And it's also a con, which is kind of weird, but you'll, you'll understand in a minute. Uh, the reasons that it's uh, a pro for this knife is um, just the ease of use. You know, you can open and close this knife so easily one-handed. Um, it's completely ambidextrous, um, so it's, you know, it's exactly the same for both left and right-handed people. Um, very easy to use, uh, and you know I, I really love it. It's great. Um, the ergos on this knife, the ergonomics are pretty straightforward. You know, it's um, there's not a lot of crazy uh, angles and grooves in the blade. It's it's a fairly straight blade, uh, meaning that it's very comfortable. You can use a hammer grip like this. You can very comfortably put your thumb up on the spine. And um, yeah, very comfortable. I don't feel anything poking into my hand. It's very comfortable. I get my my uh, four fingers on there very easily with a little bit of extra room in case you have bigger hands. Um, another pro is the blade steel. I think uh, S30V is a, a fine choice for this knife. Um, another pro is the weight. You know, you can leave it uh, with the stock scales if you want a very light knife extremely light knife um, or you can get some aftermarket scales if you want to beef it up a little bit so I like that and um, the action is great um, just flies out from the thumb studs without very much effort at all makes a nice sound too especially with these titanium scales on it it affects the sound I can reverse flick this knife too very easily um, and also you can just pull down on the axis lock and, and swing it out that way. So however you want to open it, it opens very well and closes very well. Just pull down the axis lock and it falls right down. Very easy, very good action. This is not on bearings. It is using uh, phosphor bronze washers, which I actually prefer for this knife because um, if I ever need to take it apart and clean it, um, it's it's pretty rare that I need to because um, having those bronze washers in there it, it resists dirt and uh, schmutz getting in there. If you have bearings, they're you know they just get clogged up and and gritty more quickly. All right, now for some negative things about the knife or some cons. Um, I think a major con is the fact that. You remember earlier when I said the axis lock is a, a pro and a con? The reason it's a con is because how it operates, how it gets this springy tension are there is a, a spring on either side that is holding that, um, that is uh, springing that bar up. You can kind of see it there wrapping around. And um, they are prone to break. Those springs are prone to break. Um, I've had this knife for about two years and I've only had to replace them once which is not horrible but um, just the fact that you know it could happen and most likely will after a certain amount of time is not a great thing you know you don't want to have to be semi regularly buying parts for your knife um, for it to work and without those springs in there, the knife does not work. It does not lock in place. It does not 
open. I mean, it opens, but you know, it, it's basically unusable without those springs. So I think that's a major con. Uh, I'm not sure why they break so easily. You know, you would think that Benchmade would come up with um, a more sturdy spring, you know, maybe ma made out of a, a different type of steel or something like that. Um, so that that's a major con in my book. Um, another con is because of those springs and how the locking mechanism works, it is pretty difficult to disassemble and then reassemble. Um, I've, I've done it a handful of times, you know, to install the upgrades and to clean it out. And it's challenging. It's uh, it's definitely more challenging than, than most of my other knives uh, to dis to disassemble and more importantly reassemble. So that's a that's a con. Um, not you know not much that Benchmade could do about that. That's just how the knife the knife is designed. Um, but that's a con. You know, um, it, it takes a while to get it back together. There's a lot of small parts that you need to line up perfectly. Um, so that's a, that's a con. And lastly, I, I think um, another con is, you know, you buy this knife for you know, around $145, and then to get it where you really love it, which is, you know, getting some aftermarket scales, um, you know, you're spending, at the end of the day, you know, somewhere around 200 bucks, uh, you know, maybe a little bit over, depending on what scales you get. And the general consensus is in the knife community that this knife is much, much better once you upgrade the scales. So, you know, I, I would be guessing, but I would say, you know, 75% of people that own this knife will, will be purchasing, um, and, you know, upgraded scales. So that bumps the price way up, you know, 200 bucks for this knife. Um, it's expensive. You know, I wish that it came with titanium skills from Benchmade. Uh, they do have a few models now with carbon fiber, and I think they have uh, an aluminum scaled one that, that you know, they, they just come like that. Um, so that's that's a little bit of a con, you know, you, you buy the knife and then you need to spend a little bit more money to get it how you want. Um, but, you know, in my mind, it was completely worth spending that extra money to get this knife how I wanted it and now that it's how I want it I just love it I, I love it so much let's get some uh, close-ups here put a little bit of a mirror edge on it the other day um, I'm loving it the steel sharpens up so well see the paint wearing off a little bit on that thumb stud or no, sorry not the paint the uh, Anodization. Let's get some more close ups here. Backside. Oh, we didn't talk about the clip. I really like this clip. I like that it's short. I don't like when clips are, are too long. Um, it's a deep carry clip. There's not too much of a bill there. It goes in and out of the pocket very easily. I like this clip. Well, there you have it. The Benchmade Bug Out, one of my favorite knives. There she is. Listen to that. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through the microphone very well, but it's great. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Um, and if you haven't, please subscribe. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers. Um, and I think once I get there, I'm going to be giving away a knife. So subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. And... Um, since there's only going to be a hundred of you in the contest, uh, it's going to be pretty easy for you to win whatever I'm giving away. So let's make it happen, guys. Thanks for watching. Adios.